Hey guys, what is up? Mega Gamer here, and I'm here to show you how sharing and the share button works on the PlayStation 4. If you don't know it already, there is a share button on the DualShock 4, you know, the controller for the PS4, and you can use it to share your gameplay, which it could be in the form of a screenshot, a video, or even live streaming. So I'm going to show you just what it looks like and how it all works when you do that. So, let us jump into a game. I'm gonna go. Hmm, I'm tempted between Resogun and Contrast. I'm gonna go Contrast. While we're waiting, I'll give a little bit of a plug to my Twitch account. Follow me on Twitch, it's the same name as my YouTube account, so. Yeah, follow me on Twitch, watch my live streams off the PS4. It's awesome. Alright, resume game. So, as we're loading. Uh, yeah. I personally think the share button was a stroke of genius, and it is really, really awesome. I just got a couple of things I hope they kind of improve on in the next, uh, yeah, the next couple of patches. But besides that, it's an awesome button. Alright, so here is Resogun. I mean, pfft. here is Contrast. <laughs> There we go, better. Wait a minute. Hmm. Alright, never mind. So I'm about halfway through this game, I would say. But um, it's pretty fun. I definitely recommend it. It's, you know, if you have PS Plus, you get this for free. I'll definitely recommend it. It's a pretty fun game. So. So I'm walking here. Boop, 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 boop. And I want to take a picture of her face because I'm weird like that. I'll zoom go out a little bit so it isn't so blurry. There we go. So I tap the share button. There, and it takes a screenshot. I'll take another one. Now I'm going to hold on to it. Waiting for the right moment. Aha! There. So now I can choose one of these three. I can upload a video clip, upload a screenshot, or broadcast the gameplay. Now, in the video it's showing where the video is at that point, or at least a few seconds of it. This is the picture that I can upload, or I can broadcast the gameplay. Let's go to Upload Screenshot. So you hold it if you want to upload the screenshot. Apparently still thinks my brother signed into the game, I don't know why. Let's pick this screenshot, and let's put it on Facebook, because I don't think I've signed into Twitter yet, so. So let's do a comment. One sec. Mind blank for a second. I just had a mind blank. Wow. Well, whatever. Let's stick with that. We also think she has an interesting face. Actually, it should be Anne, not A. Yeah, I'm like that. Uh, preview. So that's the picture in full force. I don't know why I'm waiting here, but whatever. Here we go. And share. It is now on Facebook. So, back into the game. Do, 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 do. Now I can uh, hold it again to go to the video. 
Now I'm sure you actually have to hold it down and go into this to make sure the video is actually saved. I don't think it just I don't think it saves the video when you just tap it through a screenshot. But um So this will be it. This will be the video. It looks pretty dark compared to the actual game. But anyway, I'm not going to upload it, but you get the gist. You can upload it to Facebook or Twitter or whatever. It's there. Now, that's if you hold it and it records the last 15 minutes or so of your gameplay. If you double press it, though, the share button, it's the starting point for recording. And then you hold it down and click upload video to record from that point. So instead of the last 15 minutes, it just records from that point. So that's basically how share uh, screenshots and uh... one sec. Woo! Damn it! That's basically how screenshots and videos work. But now we broadcast the gameplay. Now I'm going to broadcast this through Twitch. So let's click Twitch. So here I can choose to include the microphone from my mono speaker on the controller, uh, display comments on screen, and then I can pick a name and post it to Facebook. I'm just going to do test. And here we are. We are now in a live stream. Hell yeah. Alright, so obviously zero people watching, zero comments because I just put this on, but I'm live streaming right now. And to end the broadcast, you hold the share button. Stop broadcasting. Yeah. So that's how the share button works. According to some of my friends who watched my streams, they said the quality is actually alright. Especially for a console. So that's good enough for me. That's basically it for the share button. Those are the three things you can do. Like I said, I kind of wish they would fix it up so it's easier to just record a video without having to, like, you know, hold the share button and get into the menu. But, you know, I wish it was just a way where, like, if you double tapped it, then that's when it recorded the last 15 minutes, not the starting point for a video. That way I can just double tap it, it's recorded, and I can just continue the game. It said, no, I have to hold it, then go into upload video, which takes, like, I don't know, it's 10, 20 seconds, but it's still disruptive which you kind of want to ignore on a system like this. So, other than that, the share button works fantastically well for the PlayStation 4, and I'm glad that they've added it. So thanks for watching Mega Gamer. Uh, more PS4 videos on this channel coming up really soon. And uh, that's the share button. And see ya.